so here it shows your GPU hertz here is your CPU load and uh, here it shows your graphics VRAM here is your storage it also shows you your information uh, your the details of your SSD come down here you have system update where you can see you have your history of updates you can also check for updates and in, on the right side you have a critical updates which is your BIOS recommended updates which is most probably your drivers and Windows updates so if you click here it brings you straight to the Windows updates uh, window so, so when you go back you can set macro keys for your keyboard and you have your power settings so this setting is for the battery here and uh, you can see your battery health you see your capacity you can see the temperature you can also set it to rapid charge which is quick charge and conservation mode basically means that it does not charge above 60 percent this is to preserve your battery life if you are someone who isn't going around much and your pc is always plugged in so this is helpful to preserve the battery life of your laptop to maintain the longevity of your battery laptop, uh, laptop's battery flip to start basically means that um, when you open up your the lid of your laptop it automatically starts and always on USB is you can check this on or off uh, it always supplies power to the USB ports uh, you can use it to charge any of your devices I guess um, mainly small devices like your wireless headphones or your Apple watch etc I don't think it's it supports quick charge to support fast charging for your phones uh, here you can see your battery details like uh, what's happening the activity how many battery cycles have it gone through uh, the type when was it manufactured temperature the voltage uh, the firmware of the battery so you can see all of it there and we go back here on top here we have audio settings so for audio, uh, you can check on your microphone if you want to and you can also adjust your microphone volume. As for display and camera, uh, you can see it turns on the camera. Um, which you can see here, this is me. And you can turn it on, camera privacy mode and it turns off the camera. Physically, the camera is still connected. As you can see, the light here, the camera is still connected to the, the camera is still being detected by the laptop. What if I, what if I, kill the camera on the, on the laptop? You can see it does not detect a camera. So when the light comes on, it means that the camera is is detected by the computer itself. Can see let me just refresh this As you can see it's back on and when I click it on here you can see me and also adjust the brightness and the contrast as well as the exposure manually and if you feel like you might have messed something up you can just click reset and it goes back to the original settings which is much better than what I adjusted earlier also uh, for input and accessories you can see you have an option for your keyboard so this is basically the keyboard function row um, so if you want to turn on your functions if you have the special functions turned on basically what this means is that if I want to change the volume I'd have to click FN and volume up to get this volume but if I were to enable this 
special function I don't have to click FN anymore and you, as you can see the FN lock automatically comes on so I don't have to click the FN anymore I can just straight away I can just turn on the volume turn up the volume and turn down the volume I don't have to press FN as you can see I'm not pressing FN so that is one of the features that you can click for the keyboard within the Vantage software. And you also have touchpad controls here. It brings you to the window option where you have your touchpad settings. You can also set what happens when you tap with three fingers. You swipe with three fingers. When you swipe up, swipe down, left, right. Also, what happens when you tap the three finger? So you can do the settings, four finger gestures. Also tap. What happens when you tap it? And uh, you also have your touchpad controls. There is a touchpad controls, and here you have your mouse controls where you can set the cursor speed and all of that. And also, which is your select? Whether you want to use the right button to select or the left. So that is, that is here. So to go back, you just have to click the Lenovo Vantage logo up here, and on the right side, you can see that you have a thermal mode. Thermal mode is basically your performance mode. So, so for, if you click performance mode, which turns the LED indicator to red, um, this is like. This gives you the highest performance possible from both your CPU and your GPU. Balance mode, it automatically detects um, how much performance it needs and it adjusts accordingly. Quiet mode is, it, it consumes the least power as possible and it's also very quiet. The fans aren't spinning as loud or as fast. And you have network boost. So network boost is basically you can set any apps that uh, that you want your Wi-Fi to be concentrated to or your internet to be concentrated to so when any apps that you added here are running uh, it gets the maximum speed that it can provide uh, when you're gaming like Twitch or Discord so that is that next we have auto close so auto close uh, you can add any app here that you want to automatically close while you're gaming so I suggest if you have lower RAM you can add Google Chrome or any of the apps that you think might be hogging up your RAM. Next we have hybrid mode. So hybrid mode basically it it switches between your GPU, your NVIDIA GTX GPU and also your inbuilt Radeon GPU. So um, I basically turn this off because I will when I game, I just want to use my RTX 3060. I want it to run off my RTX 3060, so I just turned it off. Overdrive is something like overclocking, which I did not enable yet. So touchpad lock, you can enable it. Your hand does not accidentally uh, move the cursor or something while you're gaming, even with the touchpad. Mm, rapid charge is basically what we discussed earlier, which is fast charging. And Wi-Fi security is basically cloud-based software that helps to monitor your Wi-Fi network for any potentially malicious uh, activity that's going on that might be going on and when you see the top right here you, see, you can see it says security so for security uh, it brings you to the Wi-Fi security that we discussed earlier as for support you have your support your content library smart performance so for support Basically, it shows your warranty information and your current warranty plan. Content library gives you uh, some tips about the laptop itself. Uh, maybe you can add on any extra software that you might think you need. And you can also perform a diagnostic check, performance and security check in your laptop. You can scan it. Uh, as for 
Facebook and Instagram, it brings you to the page and then you have your user, which is your profile itself and from here, if you click my software it says that I have an exclusive Dropbox that I can redeem, which I have not done it yet have your migration assistant which helps you migrate from your previous computer to your laptop uh, preferred settings you can change whether you want to see any promotion messages mm. about your system updates do you want any messages about your system updates your user statistics and all of that stuff so that is all for the Lenovo Vantage software itself